everyone, it's Monica with Scrap Saturdays, and here I am continuing with my December daily. I cheated a little bit, so you're going to have to forgive me. I just finished sorting out my felt sticker letters from the dollar store, and I just kind of picture pieced out some of these pictures that we took at the works, uh, which is a burger place. Uh, we are a plant-based family, so these are all veggie burgers or vegan burgers and it was delicious it was really nice so was it right after the Santa Claus parade and I don't know if you can see that I don't know how well my camera works I don't think it focuses very well but there is the Santa Claus parade going along the back so we had front row seats at the restaurant and it was a lot of fun so we got to have lunch and watch the Santa Claus parade go by in the warmth sitting down eating Woohoo! It was great. <laughs> so um, I took, I printed these off as two by two. Sometimes I never know what I'm going to use or whatnot. And so this is the back side to this, um, I don't know, what is this? Six by whatever that is. And I'm just going to go and measure because I don't know how to tell you what it is. Six by eight. So I kind of like that I could squish in all these pictures because I take 500 photos of like one hour event. I don't know how to take less, so I'm trying. I try to delete them and all that jazz. So, but I, I just love to take um, pictures of what my kids are thinking and doing at that moment. And then there's sometimes, to be honest, where I don't even take any pictures. Like I'll go to a completely large event and bring my camera and not take any photos. And I don't feel bad. I just don't, I'm not in the mood. Or I just want to enjoy it without um, putting away my camera, taking it out, or disrupting whatever people are doing. So the place is called The Works and I was just gonna use different letter stickers to put the word the. And this is another thing that I've been learning from watching YouTube is really picking up, you know, multiple fonts to make your title. And I love the way that it looks on everyone else's pages. So I'm trying to do that for myself. And it's all about, you know, copying what you see or being inspired by what you see. So hopefully when you watch these videos, I'm actually inspiring you to do something fun or maybe something outside of your comfort zone. I'm not sure. For me, it could be something as basic as using two different fonts with two different letter stickers. I know that sounds crazy, but when you're so used to scrapbooking just one way, sometimes it could be a little bit intimidating to do something different or you never know how it's going to look and you second guess yourself. I think that's how I want to do it. I'm going to kind of sort of layer those on top of there. Or maybe put that underneath there. Do you have to leave enough space for the layering? I just don't want to cover my daughter on the bottom there too much and the photo of my husband looking like he hasn't eaten in 500 years is just too funny so I think that's how I'm going to do it and then I will pop up the one of my husband with some foam squares And I'm trying to get in a little bit every single day now, just before Christmas. I'm down to the wire here. I'd love to have this out um, on Christmas Eve when we do have our family members over so that they can see the whole progress up until Christmas Day. And then I really like that there was a little spot there for me to write what we did.
So there we go. That's really easy. Again, I'm going to grab some of my washi tape. And I think I'm going to use it underneath the angled photo just to ground it some more. And I really love the way that that looks. Put that around that corner. And I'm done. I love it. It's good. It's easy. So it's on that side. And then I've got this page. I did have one photo of the Santa Claus parade with the kids sitting down. And I did have, we went to Starbucks for some hot chocolate. And again, Maybe that's good. Mmm. Maybe I'll put that. I definitely want to journal about this. I need to write more about it. And then... that I cut out. But I think I want this side to be lighter. There we go. It says Santa Claus comes tonight. So that kind of tells the story completely. I'm going to have to round my corners. I know that's boring. I'm sorry. But you can fast forward it. I like rounding the corners and sometimes I don't like this one here. It's got the stitching all the way. But it's one of those things like either you do or you don't. Or maybe I'm wrong with that. I don't know. I haven't fully decided whether or not I liked rounded corners or not. I guess when I use the Becky Higgins Project Life cards, then to me it's almost a given that everything in your book has kind of got to be that way. I don't know. Maybe that's just a Monica moment or a Monica thing that I'm assuming that I have to. Photo goes there, and this one goes here. I don't know her name, but there is a lady on Two Peas in a Bucket, and she does all her, you know, Project Life, and she puts it out, and she adds little things, and she goes back and does her stitching. I'm sure when I say she does her stitching, you all know who I'm talking about now. I really like her videos too, and I like her you know, little placements, and then she goes back and adds little things to it. So that's what I'm pretending that I'm doing here. I'm pretending that I'm that girl, and that I know what I'm doing, and that I'm going to get this just the way she does. And that says Jolly Old St. Nicholas on that scrap piece of paper, so I really wanted to use that, even though it does look large, but I like it. And I think that's how I'm going to put it. That's interesting. It even says claws on that one too. So I got that right. And I think that's how I'm going to leave it. I think I'm liking that. So staple that. This one I'm going to glue down. 
one I'm going to glue down. Yes, I love it. I'm doing so well. I'm impressed with myself that I'm not overthinking it or underthinking it. And I'm getting it done, which is the most important part. Again, with some washi tape, just so that it can match the other side too, so it looks like, you know, the pages go together. Put some under there. And this smudge can be used there. I don't know if that's too high. No, it's good. No, it's not. There's just some things I can't let go. <laughs> I think I'm gonna add some washi tape to this before I do my journaling. So I like to add a little bit more to that. And I won't make you guys watch me uh, journal on that because I feel, so feel sorry for you. There's just too much. Too much time wasted as I flip through this and make you watch me do this. Hmm. Holiday tradition sounds much better. There we go. So all that's left is for me to write down what I want to talk about. And maybe I might add an arrow here so that I can point to the picture. But other than that, I think I'm good. I think that worked out very well. Thank you so much for watching and have a happy December.